Hello, everyone. You've just learned about common performance testing and optimizing tools. Next, this video will demonstrate how to use tools to test the performance of Docker containers and applications. The main steps of this demonstration include creating a Kubernetes cluster, deploying an application of Nginx, monitoring the performance of containers with CTOP, implementing stress testing of Nginx with a WRK. And this demonstration will provide you some reference when you want to test and optimize the performance of clusters and applications in Kubernetes. Now, let's start it. First, you need to create a Kubernetes cluster and deploy the application of Nginx. Here, a Kubernetes cluster has been created. If you have not been clear about how to create a cluster in Kubernetes, you can refer to the documentation and related courses. Next, deploy an Nginx based on the cluster. Click on Application and click on Deployment. You can use either image or template to deploy the Nginx. Click on Create by template here. The template to deploy the Nginx is very simple. The main requirement is that you should specify the number of copies, the image, and its version of the container, and the exposed port. When the configuration is complete, click on Deploy. And you can see that a basic containerized application, Nginx, is deployed to the cluster. Next, you should add a load balancer of Nginx to expose Nginx service to the public network so that other users can access the Nginx service. Similarly, the load balancer can be deployed by a template. In the template file for deploying a load balancer, you need to specify the application you just deployed by the selector. In addition, you need to specify the container ports to be monitored and the ports exposed by the load balancer. After setting up, click on Deploy again. In this way, the Nginx can be accessed through the public network. You can click on the external endpoint to see the results of the deployment. It works. Next, you can use CTOP, the container monitoring tool, as mentioned, to monitor containers. The CTOP can be started either as an application or as a Docker container. Here, we start it as a container. Firstly, you need to log to the master node remotely through the SSH IP address of the cluster. Next, you need to pull the CTOP image on the master node. You can search the CTOP image. And you can also pull one of the images of CTOP directly. Once the image is pulled successfully, you can run the CTOP to test the performance of containers on the master node. You can start the container directly by using the command docker run. But you need to be careful to configure some necessary options and parameters. For example, specify the name and path of the container for mounting a volume. After running the container of CTOP, you can see the main performance of containers running on the master node. And you may have noticed that there are no containers of Nginx in the list of containers. That's because business applications are not deployed on the master nodes by default. 
Only the containers with functions of the cluster and system are installed into master nodes. So you also need to log to the worker node to observe the containers of engines. You can access to the worker node remotely by the master node using the private IP address of the worker node. In the web console, click on Nodes and find the worker node. You can see the private IP address of the worker. Then use the command of SSH in the master node to remotely log to the worker node. The log password is also the server password set when creating the cluster. In the worker node, you should pull the CTOP image again and run the container of the CTOP. Now, you can see that there are two Nindex deployment containers running, which provide the Nindex services directly. In the interface of CTOP, you can set different sort ways by pressing S with your keyboard. For example, set it to sort by CPU usage. In this way, you can monitor the containerized application deployed in a cluster at the basic level. Next, the stress testing tool, WRK, is used to test the performance of the engines. The principle of WRK is to continuously access engines by test machines outside the cluster, so as to simulate the scenario when a large number of users access the service of engines concurrently. Usually the test machine can be either a virtual machine or an ECS instance. If you need to simulate a large number of concurrent connections, such as 10,000 or 10 million connections, you may need more test machines. In order to save resources and time, in this demo, we use the master nodes as a test machine. Of course, you can use a virtual machine with Docker installed on your PC. You should keep the window of the current worker node alive to continually monitor the performance of containers in the following steps. You should open a new window and remotely log to the master node again, which acts as a test machine now. Then, install the tool of WRK on the test machine. The WRK can also be installed as an application or a container. This demo will install it as a container. Similarly, you can search for images of the WRK. And you can also pull a specific image directly. Then run the WRK on the test machine. You can use basic commands to view the usage and the parameter descriptions of WRK. For example, you can specify the number of threads used for connections, the number of concurrent connections, and the duration of tests. You can use the instruction docker run to start the WRK directly and specify the parameters of the stress testing at the same time. For example, you can configure it like this command. Use two threads, set the number of connections to 20, and set the test time to one minute. It should be noted that in this way, the container of WRK will automatically stop after this command is finished. If you need to test in many times, you can also log to the container and test it again so that the container will run all the time. You can set different test parameters 
to implement stress testing of NGINX. For example, using two threads while the number of connections is 50, the test time is 1 minute. After executing this command, return to the C top window on the worker node, and you can see that the CPU utilization of NGINX deployment containers increases rapidly. In practical business applications, if the parameters are too high, engineers should consider expanding the application to ensure the availability and stability of the system. For the results turned by the WRK, we can see several parameters. For example, the last item is a positive-negative ratio of standard deviation, which indicates the discreteness of the results. And the larger the number, the more unstable the system. You can analyze the test results by setting a different number of connections and a test time. You can also increase the number of copies of NGINX pod and then implement stress testing to verify that multiple copies can improve the usability and stability of the application. You can practice it and record the data. Then you can compare the different data of performance. Thank you for watching this video. You can use the tools of performance testing and optimizing by experimenting and practicing so that you can have a deeper understanding of the performance testing and optimizing of containerized applications.